Hello everyone, Rankies here. Uh, for a few days now I've been having an issue with RuneScape uh, that I've been trying to solve and finally, uh, not too long ago, I came across a solution. Uh, so to quickly describe the issue uh, for those that it may help. Specifically, uh, this is only to do with desktop computers that are running more than one graphics card. So like two, three, four, however many you might have in your computer. Uh, for some reason, this may not be the case for everybody, but at least with NVIDIA systems, um, seems to be the case for some people. Uh, for me, RuneScape was choosing to use my secondary graphics card uh, over my primary graphics card, and I couldn't really... Uh, well, I wasn't certain of that. I couldn't really figure it out easily until I, uh, I did a bunch of researching. If you're anything like me, you start off with just simple Google searches, and if you were to type in, say for example, word for word, RuneScape using the wrong GPU, you're only going to come across, and like you can type variations of that, you're only going to come across uh, people having issues with laptops where RuneScape is using the laptop CPU instead of the built-in uh, graphics processing unit. So, uh, But one of those articles I read gave me a hint which led to one of those aha, Rankies, how could you be so stupid moments, and I finally was able to figure it out for myself. Uh, and what it said at the end of the article is to check if the settings that they had made uh, had applied to go into the game and open the developer console and type in renderer. So we can do that in the game right now. To open the developer console, you need to press and hold Alt and also press the tilde key. And you just want to type in the chat box that appears renderer. All this nonsense is going to pop up if you're running AMD graphics cards, it may be a little bit different and at this point I'm about to start to lose you guys, you'll have to do something different, but if you scroll all the way up at the top, it shows render and there we go, it is using my GTX 1080 Ti. Now 1080 Ti is a pretty powerful graphics card, but because it is not my primary graphics card, because it's plugged into the second PCI Express slot, it's suffering performance issues, and RuneScape just isn't running well on it. Uh, sure, I'm getting 60 FPS, but this is a 165... Well, it's a, it's a 144 hertz monitor, overclocked to 165, so I would prefer to be seeing up near the you know, 165 FPS mark, especially with a with an i7 7700K and you know GTX 1080 and a 1080 Ti, uh, you don't expect to exactly see 60 FPS. So clearly something is going wrong. Uh, the reason that I was so sure the RuneScape was using my 1080 Ti was if I swap over to my uh, other monitor here. As you can see, I have open uh, EVGA Precision XOC, which is EVGA's overclocking software. And uh, my GTX 1080, which we're currently looking at, uh, it's water-cooled, so the you know I don't really have any notifications here other than the GPU temperature. This is normal. Uh, but the GPU clock is what I was interested in. It's running nowhere near up where it should be if it's actively being used. So that was quite strange to me. And when I swapped to my GTX 1080 Ti, as you can quite clearly see, something is using the 1080 Ti a hell of a lot. Um, and this is where I was constantly getting stuck until I found out uh, that you know I could check the developer console and type in renderer. And as soon as I read that in this article, that's when it hit me. You know that that moment of Rankies, how could you be so stupid? Because right next to my EVGA Precision XOC, I've already opened, as you can see here, the NVIDIA control panel. So again, for AMD users, you're going to have to do something slightly different. I think AMD call it their Catalyst Control Center or something like that, and you'll have to find the settings yourself. Uh, but if you're an NVIDIA user and you have two or more graphics cards, then this is what you need. You probably know how to open it. If you don't, just right-click on your desktop background, and there it is. You just want to click on that. And it should be on Manage 3D Settings by default. If not, just open that up. Come and open the uh, Program Settings tab here. And the two RuneScape things are going to be relatively near the top, at least for me they are. And all you need to do is in here, where it says OpenGL Rendering GPU. It's set to use the global setting, which is auto-select. And for some reason, RuneScape likes to choose to use uh, my 1080 Ti. So you can't see it in the background right now, but I'm just going to log out of my game 
while I get ready to make these changes because I don't imagine the game would like it if I did it while it was running. And we'll come back over here and I'm going to change the OpenGL rendering GPU to the 1080. Uh, interestingly enough, if I try and force it to use the 1080 Ti, it just picks the 1080 anyway, but that's the one we want, so just make sure that's what we've got. Hit apply. And then come back up here again, and you want to choose the other rs2client.exe. So we just changed runescape.exe in the program files, runescape launcher. Now we're going to program data, jagex launcher, rs2client.exe. And we're just going to make the exact same change in here. Select the GTX 1080, which is my primary graphics card. Hit apply. And uh, still seeing the 1080 Ti for some reason. Is uh being used a lot. 1080 not so much. I'm wondering if uh, somehow OBS is also using the 1080 Ti to record. That'd work out in my favor, but that'd be interesting to figure out sometime. So uh, we're done with the Manage 3D settings right now. So just in the background, I'm going to open up RuneScape again and, uh, and log into my account. So once I've logged in, I'll be able to swap the screen back over and you guys can see what I'm doing. And we'll bring this one back on right now. Just going to pick uh, one of my favorite worlds. And we should see a change if everything worked out. We're already seeing the FPS go up even more. It should drop down to 80 as soon as I uh, position the camera how I normally have it when I play. Start doing something. So we're sitting it around. It's a little bit difficult to see, but it's about like 83, 86, 85. It's around the low to mid 80s, it appears. And uh, we can open the developer console again by Alt tilde key. Type in renderer. Scroll back up to the top, and there we go. It is now set to use the GTX 1080. Hooray! Now that solved all of my issues. Oh, that is also my hotkey for quick curses, apparently. Uh, and if I swap back to... Yeah, let me do that right now. Swap back to the other monitor. I'm still on the 1080 Ti. Uh, as you can see, uh, OBS must be using it to record, but if we swap back to the 1080... It is now being well and truly fully utilized. Earlier on it was sitting around, I think, uh, 1200 and something GPU clock, but now uh, definitely having an impact. Strange. Don't need that on, it's a water-cooled card. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you found this video helpful. Again, this will only apply to people that are on a desktop computer that are running NVIDIA graphics cards and if you have more than one graphics card, any other issue, I'm not really sure exactly what you might be running into, so good luck with figuring that out. But if you happen to have the same issue as me and you think that RuneScape is using the wrong GPU, again, you can confirm if it's using the wrong GPU by checking in the developer console and then open the NVIDIA control panel to make the appropriate settings on the uh, OpenGL rendering GPU right here. My name is Rankies, uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.